My name is Mercedes Sayagis. I'm a Night Health Fellow in Mozambique. I just visited rural clinics in the remote district of Muera in Cabo Delgado province. Now I understand why this province has the highest maternal mortality rate in Mozambique. This is the maternity ward at the village of Engapa. As the midwife opened the oven hot hut, she said, this should be raised and rebuilt completely. Who wants to give birth here? Local women seem to agree. More than half give birth at home. The clinic at Mbua village looks better, freshly painted, clean and airy. But it has no electricity or running water. A woman in labor must bring her own candles or paraffin lamp and buckets of water. There's no cell phone coverage. To call an ambulance, the nurse depends on a relative of the patient, like these fathers, to ride a bike for 15 minutes to a place with cell phone reception. Empeme is the worst clinic. For lack of electricity or gas, instruments are not sterilized between patients. Shortages of antimalarials and antibiotics are frequent. In Namatil, nurse Ismael Suman can diagnose HIV, but he has no antiretrovirals to give. He's very frustrated about this. The midwife, Fatima Amissio Sange, needs gloves, soap, and running water. This week, when many countries celebrate Mother's Day, Mozambique released shocking figures from the latest demographic health survey. In Cabo Delgado province, just one-third of mothers give birth in clinics. Not surprising, given what we have just seen. Many of these mothers are young girls. By age 15, one out of three girls is married. And only 3% of all women use modern contraception. The high number of teen mothers giving birth without proper medical care is one reason why there is such a high maternal mortality here. There is little to celebrate on Mother's Day for the young mothers and babies who are dying unnecessary, preventable deaths in Mozambique.